So let's have a look at rectangular channels. And in this example, we have a rectangle channel it's shown in green and has a width of 600 millimeters, has a depth of 200 millimeters and a slope of one in 360. That is our I value. Also, we are given a Manning constant N of 0 0.013. And we're asked to calculate velocity and discharge through the channel. So first of all, the velocity of flow, we need our hydraulic mean hydraulic radius. So that is RH. We know that is DW divided by 2D plus W. Um, that is 0 0.2 times 0 0.6 divided by 2 times 0 0.2 plus 0 0.6. Um, that will be 0, 0,12 is our mean hydraulic radius. The area, cross-sectional area is dW, which is 0, 0,2 times 0, 0,6, which also equals 0, 0,12 in this case. All right, so let's use the Manning formula because they give us the constant N. V is equal to our hydraulic mean radius to the power of two thirds divided by n times the square root of i. So substituting, we have 0, 0,12, or how mean hydraulic radius, to the power of 2 thirds, divided by n, which is given to us, 0, 0,013. And then the square root of 1 over 360, which is the I value, will give us a velocity of 0, 0.986 meters per second. All right, secondly, we're going to calculate the discharge. the channel and that is very simple q is va 0 0.986 times 0 0.12 which is the area and that gives us a value of 0 0.11836 cubic meters per second